Hello po ulit. For today's video, ang tatalakayin naman natin ay basic Excel functions. So, ang example po natin today na very useful sa lahat ng scenario sa atin is budgeting. Paano ba gumawa ng very basic budgeting uh, plan sa Excel file? So, meron tayong example dito ng isang um, budgeting. Meron tayong income and expenses. So, very um, plain examples lang po siya. So, sa ating example, merong dalawang income, which is um, income 1 and income 2 at in, this, in this case. And then, ito sa baba naman yung mga expenses natin. And then, ang gusto nating malaman is magkano ba yung, mga, yung pwede nating maging um, leftover or balance after ng ating mga basic expenses. So, first, we'll start with the income. So, paano kung meron kang dalawang income? Siyempre, ang gusto natin gagawin is i-add yung ating total income. Simple formula sa Excel is, um, of course, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. If you're doing two numbers, very easy lang siya. All formulas ay uh, nag start with an equal sign pag sa Excel. So, lalagay natin equal sign yung first value, which is, of course, sa loob ng 5,000. Plus 2,000, yung second income natin. And then you hit enter. So now nakalagay na dito yung ating total income is 7,000. Which is 5,000 plus 2,000. Next, kukunin naman natin yung sum ng lahat ng mga expenses. Kung makikita ninyo dito, may mga conditions na nakalagay sa ating example. So, una, yung rent natin is 1,000. So, that's straightforward. Ilalagay lang natin dito yung amount ng rent since monthly rent naman siya. And then, yung ating school allowance, ang nakalagay dito is 100 per day. So, assuming na meron tayong 20 days of school in average sa isang typical na, na buwan, kailangan natin ng 100 times 20. Now, simple formula dun sa Excel, paano ba mag-multiply? Lalagay natin equal sign ulit. 100, type natin siya this time, multiplied by 20 days, and then enter ulit. Next naman, same scenario din sa groceries, nakalagay is 100 per week. So, ang ilalagay natin dyan, assuming na merong on average 4 weeks sa isang buwan, is equal sign, 100, multiplied by 4. Because we have four weeks. And that will be 400. And then the next two ones, electricity bill and water bill, are straightforward then. So we will just type 200 at saka 100. Now, nakalagay dito, gusto niyang maglaan ng savings, which is 10% ng kanyang total income. So, paano ba natin i-auto-calculate yung 10% ng income na nakuha mo for the month? So, for the savings, kukunin natin ang ating total income, which is si 7,000. Let's start with an equal sign. Kunin natin si 7,000 dito. Imumultiply natin yan by, sabi, 10% ng ating income. So, multiply is asterisk 10%. So, pwede nyo siyang isulat as it is, 10%, or pwede din syempre 0.1. Kasi 0.1 is equivalent to 10%, up to you. Kung mas madali sa inyo yung percent, as it is, pwede siya. And then, click enter. Now, 700 is 10% of 7,000. And then next, ilalagay natin si miscellaneous, which is 500 as it is. Now, meron na tayong figures sa lahat ng expenses sa ating example. Kukunin naman natin yung total sum, total expense natin. Now, pwede nyo din gawin yung ginawa natin dito sa total income, where, wherein ipa-plus ninyo sila isa-isa. So, equal to 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 400 plus and so on and so forth. Pero kung napakadami ninyong um, numbers or figures sa inyong file tulad ng meron sa atin dito ngayon, medyo hindi ideal na isa-isahin siya, not only magiging prone to, prone to error siya, um, masyadong mahabang process din siya. So, my shortcut tayo dyan sa Excel, I will show you different ways on how to get total sum of a range. So, when we say range, it's a set of different Excel cells inside Excel. 
So, ang total expense natin, kukunin nat, pwede natin gamitin yung ating sum formula. So, pwede kang pumunta sa formula and makikita mo lahat ng possible na sum na pwede mong gamitin. Yung pinaka-basic na ginagamit natin is auto sum, which is what we made in this scenario. So, may other options tayo dito. Pwede nyo kunin ng average, count lang lahat ng numbers, maximum, minimum, and all that. So, very typical sa inyong statistics. We will go to that sa mga later sessions natin. But for today, we will just get yung basic sum. So, kiklik natin siya. And then, you see, ang mangyayari dito is gagamitin nyo yung sum formula, which in this case is equal sign and sum. So, again, lahat ng ating formula and functions ay magi-start with an equal sign. So, equal sum, meron tayong close and open parenthesis. And sinelect na niya para sa atin lahat ng nasa taas ni total expense. So, from D7, so letter D7, dito sa red, to D13, letter D13, which is the miscellaneous. So, click enter, and automatically, i-add na niya lahat nitong mga expenses na to. So, that's one way. Pupunta ka sa formula. Pwede mo din gawing straight away, equal, sum, open parenthesis, select rent until miscellaneous, and then, i-close mo yung parenthesis. Now, lahat ng formula na kailangan ng parenthesis, dapat po may open at may close. Ayan, meron na tayong total income and total expenses. Pero ang pinaka gusto natin malaman is yung ating remaining balance after all of the expenses. So that will be basically 7,000 minus 4,100. So same sa ginawa natin dito kanina, very basic Excel formula lang din yung ating gagamitin. will do equal sign, kunin si 7,000 minus the total expense which is 4,900. And then, hit enter. Now, we have balance of 2,100. Pwede nyo nang palitan yung numbers and yung formulas ninyo ay magiging intact. So, kunwari, in one month, meron kayong naging extra income. Yung 5,000 ninyo is naging 6,000. Lalagay nyo lang dyan is 6,000. 6, and you see, mag-change yung number, mag-auto-calculate na yung mga lahat ng formulas ginagamit si income 1. So, yung expense nyo ay tumaas because yung 10% ng inyong income is tumaas. Yung balance ninyo is tumaas din kasi tumaas yung inyong total income. Same with sa expenses. Kunwari, may siguro tumaas yung inyong monthly rent. So, pwede nyo siyang palitan. And straight away, i-calculate na niya yung inyong total expense and magbabago din yung inyong balance. So, um, pwede na siyang maging um, month to month, pwede niyong palitan yung inyong um, figures. Now, kung, kung, paano kung ang kailangan yung palitan in a regular basis is yung mga variable na tinatawag natin, which is ito kanina, yung 2, 2,000 because 100 per day or 400 because 100 siya per week. Ang magandang gawin is gamitin ninyo yung mga cells instead of the numbers. So, i-move natin to siya dito very quickly. So, pwede natin palitan si school allowance into So, sabihin natin dito is 100 and we have 20 days. And for this one, we have 100 and we have 4 weeks. So, pwede natin siyang palitan. So, i-delete natin yung for formula natin today. And then, we will change it into equal sign. This one, yung inyong allowance per day, multiplied by F8, which is 20, because you have 20 days. And then, pwede nyo siyang, kung parehang-parehang formula, kasi ang gagawin naman natin dito sa groceries is same thing. 100 multiplied by 4 because you have 4 weeks. Pwede nyo siyang gawing ganyan or pwede nyo ding i-drag. So, select ninyo itong cell, punta kayo sa lower right corner and then click and drag. Ang mangyayari niyan is kinopya niya yung formula sa taas pero ang kinukuha niyang number is yung sa same row. Now, 
since napalitan nyo na siya as cells instead of numbers, pwede nyo nang palitan. For example, next month, instead of 20 days, mahaba-habang buwan siya, like maybe September, so meron kang 23 days. Mag-auto-calculate din yung inyong school allowance into 2-3 total expenses din is nag-auto-calculate and of course, yung balance is mag-auto-calculate. Kunwari, um, some weeks, kailangan ninyo ng madami-daming grocery, kaya mas mataas yung um, magiging grocery ninyo per week, magiging 150 siya. Observe ninyo, pag pinalitan ko tong 150, magbabago yung number natin dito sa groceries as well as yung total expense. Ayan. So, that's it for today's video sa ating basic budget. In the next video, I will show you naman conditional formatting. So, um, paano ba kung may mga iba-iba pang conditions na kailangan nating i-highlight sa ating budgeting.